what's up guys i'm back again um and so you guys seen that um my banded tunnel web fern had a mold breakout in her enclosure so after i did all that i actually came in to check on her and caught her in the middle of a really cool process of her webbing up her circular kind of tunnel so which is really awesome so um i hope you guys enjoy that it did take a long time almost all of last night and most of today to get this footage so she, she'll be absolutely exhausted and i have chucked some food in there she has eaten but um she's a little bit too stressed for me to video for that for you guys so i just hope you enjoy the couple clips that i managed to save from the camera placement because obviously she's in her enclosure here and um, there's only so many places I can put a camera in the enclosure without her actually webbing the camera itself up as well potentially um, also guys you missed out because I couldn't actually get this on camera either but um, my baby white tail is now in a slightly larger enclosure which is pretty cool and um, Frank is actually on the hunt right now, so I might even set up another camera to capture that if I can. So hopefully I'll be doing a spider beady video. Um, very hard to capture white tail takedowns when they're eating because they hunt for so long. And they are quite sadistic with their hunting. So um, yeah, anyway, without further ado, I'll get to this video. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy watching Fern web up her new enclosure. Um, it took her about 20 minutes to settle down enough to actually start, you know, um, looking around her enclosure. But it's still pretty cool. And yeah, hope you, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So just before I play these clips, I want to show you there that my white tail Frank is hunting his dinner at the moment. So he could stay in this position for quite some time. So that's Frank down the bottom, down here. And his meal is actually the one on top. Um, pretty hard for me to get a decent view without spooking him or interrupting his meal. But that is pretty cool. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
gonna do one quick check in. Um, so I haven't checked her for about a day now, nearly a whole day. So it's somewhere in the middle of the night outside. So she should be quite active. Can't see her. Ah, oh, do your water dish. I've never had a spider that has done that to a water dish. Crazy. So, yep, um, she's obviously decided to cover her webbing a little bit, which I actually did decide to help her with. And if you can see our girl down there. Uh, all right, I don't, I can't see you, but she's there. She's right next to that behind that leaf. So this leaf kind of pops in the side here, and she'll actually be tucked in and under the side about there somewhere. Because if I move this, hopefully she doesn't bite me. Yeah, no, she's actually in that tunnel piece there, and if you look, she's got some webbing just in under here so that is really good that she's settled down I can't actually see her in there but as you see she is um, webbed up this corner really nicely oh yeah there she is there awesome that's what her tunnel looks like now and boy has she done a really good job in my opinion so yep sweet might just add this on to the end of the video for you guys so you can see that she's finally settled in i was a little bit concerned about my girl for a bit there she's a bit stressed out i suppose that's what happens when you capture a wild spider instead of you know just getting a baby white tail this is my first fully grown wild spider that i intend on keeping so i don't want to stress her out but yeah i know it was a little, little bit long to watch um, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hit the like and subscribe button if you did and the notification bell if you want to be notified of my new uploads. And until next time, peace.